Reverend Joe. I'm Sunny from the upcoming. Hello. Thank Hi. you for talking with us. Absolutely. Uh, what, what's that? I just said hello. <laughs> oh, I love your dress, by the oh, way. Oh, thank it's you. Really nice. Thank you very much. Um, so what can you tell us about your character? My character is called Donna, and I play one of the best friends of Karen's character, Lucy. And um, obviously Karen's character is struggling to make a connection with anyone since her other friend killed himself. And I, I play, uh, um, I'm just trying to say, like a nail technician. So I've got my nice nails done for today in honour of Donna. And I'm just like one of those girls who's sort of more focused on having the nice carpet and the nice, you know, and the nice curtains and all that rather than sort of getting in touch with her emotions. So, but she's quite funny because of that. <laughs> you know that way? Can you resonate with, with this character at all? With this character? Hmm. Probably not really. I'd say I'm a bit more in touch with my emotions than Donna is. And she covers up a lot, but I can... I could, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little Everyone, bit. Though. Absolutely. Yeah, we all just kind of run away from our. Oh, know, God, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's funny when you're playing a character because you can sort of recognize maybe what's wrong with them. Do you know what I mean? But, like, yeah, we've all got, we've all got stuff wrong with us, haven't we? <laughs> what do you hope uh, the audience will take away from this film and or this character that you're playing? Okay, well, the film's obviously really, like, dark, and it's all about suicide and what's happened to this town and this woman because of it. Um, I think my character's sort of the comedy relief in this film because, like, we, saw, we did a premiere in Glasgow and people were going nuts for my character because it's such a dark film that when my character comes on screen, people are like, ah, Donna's back, Donna's back, because it's that, like, need to laugh you know that way because the rest of the film is very very dark and heavy but uh, yeah I hope it definitely sparks a conversation about suicide because the, the suicide rate in Inverness is pretty high uh, and all over the UK all over the world I guess so hopefully it'll st you know, start a really good conversation about it all and yeah because it is dark it's a, hard, it's a heavy watch <laughs> hopefully you're there to like make it funny yeah hopefully a little bit hopefully a little bit it definitely needs that this is the stuff dreams are made of you know, because I grew up wanting to be an actress and a comedian, and now I'm on the red carpet in New York City, baby. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> in a wedding dress. Right? The film is about um, Karen's, one of Karen's best friends in the film uh, kills himself, and so it opens with the idea that that's happened, and it's sort of flashing back and forward um, throughout since then, and how she's dealing with it. I play her other best friend, Donna, who's a nail technician. That's why I've got my nails done nice for this. <laughs> And um, she's just struggling to make a connection with anyone in her life and in her community. Well, Karen and me have known each other a long time. She wrote this film years ago, so it's been in development for a long time. And she just thought I'd make a great Donna because it is a very dark film and Donna sort of put the comedy relief in the film. So she, she thought I could do that really well because most of the stuff I do, because I do stand up as well, and most of the stuff I do is comedy. Um, so I sort of was landed into this very dark world <laughs> and was sort of the funny, the funny character. So yeah, oh, it was brilliant. Like yeah, we've known each other for a long time, so it was brilliant. So we're like friends and work colleagues now, and it was just great because she's an actress as well as a director. She knows how to talk to actors, and she doesn't just go right cry. Why aren't you crying? Why haven't you made it happen? She sort of coaches you through it and goes, "Don't worry, we can make this happen." And she just gets how to talk to actors because she is that as well. So it was brilliant, really brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> That's so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm very intense. I don't break eye contact ever. <laughs> I got amazing. Obviously, it's my first time here, first time involved. But everyone's been so cool, and it's just brilliant. It seemed it seemed like the right place for this film, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's it's kind of about um, maybe why people kill themselves. Why don't they just actually open up and tell people how they're feeling? Because men, especially. Um, and I don't mean to discriminate, but they're not maybe as good at communicating when they have mental health problems and they just think, you know what, I need to go and end this rather than get help. And so I think hopefully something this film is going to do is open that up a bit more because we're all, we've are all we all got friends who've been depressed, most of us have been depressed ourselves, and there's always a way out without having to do that. So hopefully people can kind of watch this and go, you know what, I don't want to die. <laughs>